Welcome! Today, I'm gonna take this Tyrannus uh, X9E and I'm gonna take these sticks. They do two things, and I'm gonna replace them with these joysticks. These do four things. One, right, two, turny turn, and push button. So, to do that, we need to get inside of here. I got this little wiring diagram here that I came up with. Uh, I stole it. Uh, Frank Smith posted a video on the YouTube there and uh, said what everything did. So I wrote it all down so I knew what I was doing. So, uh, here we go. So if you notice, I put the wood around here so it's not... It's resting on the handles and the an antenna handle. It's not uh, actually just sitting on the sticks because that would, I don't know, probably not be good for them. I don't really know though. Maybe it wouldn't matter as long as I didn't push too hard. But this will make it easy. It won't be moving around. It'll just be chilling like a villain. So you got these four screws going to back. Oh yeah, and then you gotta pop it off. So the handles are in the back. So let's see. Once there we go. Oh yeah. Now we'll set this to the side. Now you'll see I got my little thing. This does the spectrums. Uh, I took that from a DX6i, so this can control all my spectrum radios. So that's an additional thing in our way here. Uh, but the next thing I really want to do is I want to get the battery disconnected so that way I don't mess anything up. So let's unplug that battery. I need to get these sticks actually out of here. So if you look, they got screws from the back. Let's screw them down. I, I would just like you guys to know that I'm figuring this out with you. So in case I want to use these again, I'm going to clip these wires. That way I can use all the wires that come out of here. And if I ever go to put these back in, I know where to connect them back up. Because these are going to have to go to the new one anyway. So, there we go. Ready? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Ha! Oh, it's... I've gone too far. <sighs> Welp, there's no turning back now. Let's get this one out of here and then see where we're at. All right, there's one out. Shazam! Would you look at that? Let's cut this guy out while we're here. Get him out of the way, I guess. And there's the other one. All right, now I need some jumpers. So if you look, black goes to black, red goes to red, black goes to black, red goes to red. Let's take a little extra wire here. This plug I'm going to scrap. So. Garbage plug. All right, so if we look at our diagram, looks like uh, black goes from here. All right, now this one just needs to jump over. To this one here. And then green's going, or yeah, green's going here, but my green isn't going to be long enough. So in place of green, I'm going to use another yellow. All right, drop it kind of in, in near place. All 
All right, I'm gonna do my black first because it's right here and it's the shortest and brown and black are the same neat me if I hold those there there we go All right, that one's there. Now, uh, yellow does go to the middle here. So we might as well put yellow there since it's wanting to be there anyway. There we go. And now our two reds go together over here. two reds let's see how this works out oh no ew I should have done this first uh, oh I just noticed that part <laughs> There might be some modification cationing I have to do here. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do some fab work here. I think I'm just gonna use the eighth inch Lexan. Some small holes are smaller than these. Now, let's see if we can put this together. So, this ring has to come off. This ring has to come off. This goes down there. So I gotta get this through here. Which is easy, that's rubber. All right. And now. That'll go somewhere in there. And this will cover the whole shebang. So, let's take a screw, put it through there, and into there. All right. And now we've got that, so let's drop her in. Boom. And now providing. I didn't mess anything up. I should be able to put these last few screws in. Hopefully they line up acceptably. What else did I still have? I still have to make my green. So let's make this one, we'll call it green. And there's the green. So let's see, F3 needs to go here. Okay, and that's gonna go to the red, white, and black.
These are in a different order. I'll have to swap some stuff out here. Okay, so red should be on the bottom. All right, so red should be on the bottom. Red. Yellow. Black. All right, so for this one, I only need two. Just need red and yellow. Yellow is the center. Red's the bottom. There we go. Let's get my ends clipped. If it does matter, let's just hope I'm lucky then. And then I'm just going to plug this one all the way over here into I. It's going to be I. I suppose I could take a little off the top of this to make it seat flat in there. Well, by golly, that'll do it. Pinches the ring funny. Alright, black goes on top. Red on the bottom. Yellow in the middle. Yellow in the middle. Red on the bottom. This one's going to go to F4. And this one's going over here to J. So black goes from here. And now our red goes from this one here. All right, now green goes up here. Red is red, yellow is yellow, and green is my yellow wire. So let's do the red first because it's the furthest. Ah. All right, they're both there. All right, now let's do the brown. And we'll do the yellow. Green, but he's going to need a little bit of stuff. All right, those are in, let's screw them down. Screw it, we'll do black, I got black first. Let's get my heat shrink here on these wires. And again, these are the same blues I've did on the other side. That I don't think there's a polarity to it. So, uh, <clears throat> and plug it back into J. Before I was talking about it interferes. So this was the second one I did that I didn't really like the way it sits. I mean, you can almost see through it, but it does hold it in there. It does pinch it in that trim ring. It does, it's, feels quite secure. It doesn't feel like it's going to pop out. And if you look, I get full range of movement at no point. Oh, actually the rotation hits the... 
this knob hits this and fall over. Interesting. <clears throat> but if you look here, it doesn't even get that far. Because this rides on this. So I don't think I want it to do that. I don't know that it should. I feel like I'm losing uh, potential. That screw has seen better days. Let's get a fresh one. Much better. That one's perfect. Love the way that one sits. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. All right. There we go. Now, I think we got it all done so i've just got the last step of putting the cover back on <laughs> so let's plug this in battery's plugged in again where'd i put there it is now let's get the cover back on here let's screw it down Now, theoretically, it should be good. However, it's still going to need to be calibrated now. So, let's turn it on. Welcome to OpenTX. Now it's on. Throttle warning. Boop. All right, because it was set up for airplanes. But now, this doesn't do that. So, hmm, me sad. All right. Now, whole menu. Calibration. All right. So, center to start. Oops. Let's exit here. It says none. Maybe we'll go a pot with detent since it sticks in the middle. Okay, so now I have that. So now let's calibrate. All right, so now it's center to start. They are. All right, hit enter. All right, now center the sticks and the sliders. They are. Move sticks and pots. Uh-oh. Like All right, so I ended up switching my wires back. I put the black in the middle and the yellow in the end just for this pot. So when I went to calibrate, it kept shutting off. Uh, so I went to the debugging thing to see the code, what it was doing. And it was like, it would only go to like half or 90 one way. And then the other way, it would go way past 100 and then back into negative. So I think the ground was off on it. So I put that uh, back here. So these ones must be different than the other video I saw. So make sure you pay attention. Apparently on this one, the yellow or the, the white and the red are your reference. And your black is your output on this particular one that I have here. Uh, so I think that means here, that needs to be the center one. But I'm not 100% sure. So I just switched those around for both uh, this one and this one. And uh, now we'll put the lid back on and see if it works now. 
All right, now let's see if we can't calibrate it. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. I'm gonna have to turn off that alarm now, since that's not a thing. All right, so you hold the menu button, then hit page, 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 calibration. But you also have to, before you calibrate, you have to turn them on. So F3 and F4, I set them to pot with detent. They were on nothing, because there was nothing there before. So I had to turn that on, so now it knows what to do. And now if we go to calibration and hit enter, and then you hit enter to start. Boop. And now they're all centered. Enter. And now I move everything around. So this will find our new zero again for everything and we'll find out if it works. Well, I'm not getting static anymore when I do that. Yeah. The, before I would get static through and it would change all the others. So I'm pretty sure that was it. I just fixed it. Uh, cool. And that's that. Now they're calibrated. So if you look, uh, you can see a move. Hang on, let's go back. There we go, get out of there. Let's see, it doesn't display them here. Or here. <laughs> Let's see. But it doesn't static and shut off. Before it static and shut off. Shows all those others. I wonder if I can get that. I'm going to show them here too. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to mess with this thing at some point. But uh, for now, let me show you how I found out what the problem was. So if you keep hitting page, once you're in the main menu, go past, sorry, and you go to the screen that has the calibration, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you want to go to debug analogs, and then it shows you here all your numbers, right? So it shows you that's minus 100, that's plus 100, right? So now if I turn it, you get minus 100. See on seven there? And then I go the other way, I get 100. That works good. Because before it would show zero, but then it would be like, this way it would be back to, you know, minus 50. And then this way it would be 50. But then this way it'd be like, at halfway it'd be 100. And then I just boom, right back down the other way. So, problem solved. It's just a matter of wiring. Apparently these particular eBay joysticks I got from China were different than the ones that another guy got and posted on his video. So make sure you guys are paying attention. The way I really found that out was because I opened these up, took them apart, pulled the pot out and looked, and I could see that the center one was the black one, which means that's your, uh, <clears throat> what is that, your wiper? It means that's the one that tells it what's going on. The other one on the one side is a ground and the other one's a positive and I don't believe it matters which side they're on They just have to be on one or the other side But the center one that's on actually on the pot is the one that tells you your reference So hooking it up with the black wire in those in that plug with the black wire being the top it made it so that way my reference was actually the ground and my What should be my reference to the radio was not it was the other way as a wiper so it was giving a jacked up info and it was shortened out and you could hear the speaker go and i had no clue what it was until i took it apart and could see what that was but now it all works there it is boom you can see what they're doing and they're perfect and they actually hold their zeros pretty good so cool
Job done. See you next time. <laughs>